Internationally renowned potter Mark Hewitt has found homes for his large ceramic pots in museums and private collections all over the world. Now, the Pittsburgh-based artist is thinking more broadly about his work than ever before. He used the entire front lawn of the National Museum of Art at Duke University for a new installation called Mark Hewitt Falling Into Place, which will be on view through summer 2010. Sarah Schroth, the museum's Nancy Hanks senior curator, envisioned Mark's monumental pots in this context. Mark Hewitt was her obvious choice. The reason why I suggested him was because I thought, well, this would be an opportunity for him and for us to do something different. He could think of himself as a sculptor instead of as a potter. So that's why it's special. He's, think, he's, he's being asked to think differently. We've never shown um, pottery here. I think people will be curious because it's an unusual thing to have chosen to do. Mark Hewitt, born in Stoke-on-Trent, England, was immersed in ceramics from a very early age. Both his father and grandfather were directors of Spode, a fine china manufacturer. He set up his pottery in Pittsburgh, North Carolina more than 30 years ago. Over the past three decades, Mark's work has had a worldwide impact. His work has been featured in the Smithsonian Magazine and a PBS series, and shown in museums from London to Tokyo. Mark digs the clay, mixes his own salt glazes, and fires in a wood-burning kiln on his property. I get my prime inspiration from uh, North Carolina pottery, a tradition that's been here since the late 18th century, uh, and dovetailed with the traditions that I learnt was I, when I was an apprentice back in England. So it's really a sort of a global synthesis, but with a particular North Carolina emphasis. And Sarah believes that Mark's passion shows in his work. I've never known a potter that did things as huge and monumental as he does, and they're very difficult to do. It's unique, it's creative, it's new. And so, you know, when I, when I thought about, you know, who we have around here, I immediately thought of him, because he's obviously special, he's a good artist. The installation is comprised of 12 massive pots, each standing more than four feet high and the layout of the pottery is entirely unique. that he first proposed was to put something on the roof. It may have seemed crazy, but with the help of eight brave staffers and a scissor lift, two of Mark's pots resided on facing rooftops of the museum. The half-moon configuration of the pots contrasts well with the National Museum's angular modern structure. According to Mark, he used the whole landscape as a blank canvas for his pots turned sculpture. It's really remarkable for pottery to be seen in uh, a venue of an art museum. Uh, pottery tends not to be considered worthy of such a, a venue. And uh, because North Carolina has such a, an appreciation for, uh, there's every reason to have it here. And, uh, you know, these pots are very good, they're very wonderful, they're, they, they're very proud and strong and create a, a, a wonderful uh, link between the inside and the outside, between the building and the landscape. In the meantime, Mark has plans. Keep making pots. Dogs chase cars, and men chase dreams, and the dog is the more practical it seems. But a dream can help a person to get up and out of bed. And for this I say there's certainly still a lot that can be said about a dream.